Okay. Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm uh, going to make this video on um, office supplies for the secured party creditor. If you can see up here, I am sharing screen. 49, office supplies for a secured party creditor and USPS registered mail toolbox. So I'm just uh, recording this you know, on Zoom as a introduction of the video because the video is gonna be all over the place. So basically it starts off, I'm gonna keep it in sequence, but it starts off with a printer that I bought. You know what I mean? I'm not saying buy a printer, but you know, I needed to buy a printer and this one was the perfect one for me. It was not even that, that expensive, $2.99. Paper, I don't know what I'm talking about here and envelopes. So this is gonna be like a thorough, thorough video. Even at the end, look, this right here, you're gonna wait. It's gonna be all the way at the end. I bought this little thing, it fit everything. I'm gonna actually take a snapshot. I should have taken a snapshot of it open. Uh, I could do that. Anyway, so in, I mean, enjoy the video. And uh, I mean, this is from watching uh, like, you know, being in numerous groups and uh, going through all of the videos of the secure party creditor uh, by, you know, by PJ and them. I mean, this is a lot, a lot of stuff that they recommended, but it's almost like a uh, a process of, of evolution. Um, so it's almost like a timeline. So you you know you gain little tools and then you put them in your USP has registered mail toolbox, right? Over here. I fit. I do not need anything else besides inside this toolbox. I have everything I need to to not have to fumble. When you're at the, um, you know, either at the post office, I'm gonna walk in with with this at the court. Like the, everybody's gonna be like, look at this whack job. And you know, I'm a little whack, so I like to be, you know, I, I am the black sheep. So that's actually why this was black, probably. <laughs> but uh, I didn't even like it when I was there. I had I had about six or seven of them out right on the floor. These toolbox things, and then. Um, I was like back and forth. I had a tape measure, trying to fit things in there. And then I, at the end of the day, I, I picked this one. I said, you know what? Let me just use it for a little while and then I'll toss it. If I don't like it, I'll buy a new one. But honestly, it fits perfect. It fits everything in here um, because otherwise you're gonna have them in a knapsack and you, you know, your registered mail numbers are gonna get all dented up and uh, you, you're not gonna be able to find a pen. Whereas this, it doesn't even, it doesn't even flip as a suitcase. It only stays like that. So it has a handle where the handle raises, you'll see. So um, this is the video I'm making it now on, you know, like just standard video uh, editing on a Lenovo laptop here, um, desktop la laptop. Uh, and so I hope you enjoy the video. That's it, stop share. Okay, so why would I buy a, a huge printer like this? There's a couple of reasons. First is my other printer didn't even have legal. It looked legal, you know, it looked legal when, when I bought it, but the scanner glass was regular. So, you know, you're gonna scan your all your documents after you get them notarized. After you get them notarized, you know, every, every step of the way kind of, or whatever you want, but you're gonna wanna scan them in and have, uh, you know, a physical copy of them. So. Okay, that's the first reason. Second reason is uh, is the envelopes. Even if you had a legal scanner, it's this is 11 by, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna make a whole um, section, chapter uh, about these, but basically it, it didn't fit this or it would stick out, you know? So look, this is huge. It is 11 by 17, so look at this. Uh, what did they call it again? 11 by 17, they called it tabloid? I believe they called it tabloid. They have paper specifically 11 by 17. I took a sheet out of one of the boxes and I put it in. I should have took it, but I didn't because I wasn't going to use it. Uh, but And these are larger ones. I'm going to go over this. Uh, why like why you need larger ones as well. Uh, but they also, because you're going to, you know, you're mailing here. You're gonna you're gonna want to make a copy of this and add it in. You shrink it then, and you add it into your into the back of your document. All right, so that's it. That should be good. Uh, so printer, I haven't even put the ink cartridges in yet, but I just wanted to show you this because I want to get this out of the way so I can lay out all my stuff. 
uh, and I want to go, basically this is going to be a video for, um, you know, what office supplies I've used. I'm not saying get this. I'm not saying buy this printer. If you have a printer, as long as it's about me, I have to do everything right. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be suing so many people that I need a lot of envelopes. Uh, that's why I, I'm gonna go through that whole roll of registered mail, and then I'll take a break. But until I do, that's it. I want. I want to go through that whole roll of registered mail, and 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 basically right all the wrongs that were done to me my entire life. Done. So that's that. I even like it. You know. I mean, HD. They really get you on ink and stuff. But I'm so used to it and. It's kind of like a love-hate relationship I have with HP. I, I, I hate them, but I, but I love them, you know? Ugh. Sons of bitches. All right. I think that's it. Now I'm going to skip a different chapter as I get it ready. Thanks. Okay, so the printer is aligning, and uh, next I'm going to talk about paper. I'm just going to get this out of this workspace. So, I mean, it looks pretty nice. Uh, I haven't, you know, it works. Uh... I've always, I've never had any problems besides very expensive ink cartridges with HP and um, now it's hard to put like, uh, to connect this, it's a little tricky to connect it with uh, an IP address, but I, I have to, because everything is now online, so there's something called HP Smart and it you just plug it into an ethernet i don't have those cables anymore you just plug it into the ethernet and then it links right in but it's it's a little bit of a process setting it up uh, from my other one and in the past it is it's always you have to do some stuff and like get the uh ip address or something like that and then you can plug it in anywhere you can have it in a different room it's like kind of like almost on a network or, or an ip address whatever Alright, so this is done. Printer alignment successful. Cartridges are now calibrated for the best qual print quality. Recycle or discard the alignment page. No scanning of it? Because I used to have to scan it. Okay, that's it. I'm going to talk about uh, paper next. Um, it's asking me how many, uh, is this for personal or business? And I said business, and it's how many employees? Zero to nine. I said, uh, and it, it says, you have selected with, with more than 500 employees. Confirm. Firm. Okay, using a web browser on your mobile device, computer, visit the website to finish setting up. Okay. That's it. I just thought I'd share that with you. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about paper. So, basically, I mean, this is the main paper I'm going to use. I took a snapshot of it, but you can pause the video if you want. You know, it's basically Southworth, white wool, 20 pound, watermark, 25% cotton. Uh, this is the only kind this company has. I called and I called the company and everything. I wanted to get the next thickness up, like 24 pound, you know, 24 pound watermark. And, and legal, they didn't have it. So, you know. I mean, this is the paper, and then to start getting the feel of it, you know, you're going to want, you know, take a sheet out and then, like, write down 20-pound legal watermark, right? And then, for me, I ha I don't have, I'm limited on room, so you can see that a little. See, it's a, I, I, I uh, have to store it up high, so I want to make sure I, because I, I can't see them because they're on a shelf, so I just write down and mark a 20-pound legal watermark paper. You know, same thing with this one. These two look identical. And then, you know, you get a feel of what it what it's like. It feels really nice. Like, it's it's when the lawyers sue you, you know, like when you're in, like, uh, when they're serving you with, with papers. You're like, my God, they put this on a good paper. And then now you're the one that's doing it. So, I mean, it's 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 kind of like a comedy, you know. Uh, that's it. And that's, and let me see. But this one's, you can feel it's thicker because this one's 24 pound. It's the same thing, you know. And then the same thing. You know, 24 pound watermark. I bought these, not, you know, these are not watermark. Here, let me show you the watermark now. All of them have it. See. Uh, let me see how I can do this. Nope, no, nope. It's got to be right here. You have to see it says it right. You see? Southworth. And then even that little stain right there is part of the watermark. How come it just went away? See, that's it. That's the watermark. This one's got it too. This one's showing. You see? 
So it's like, it's like, you're important. So that's it. That's that. I mean, I bought these, but I'm not using them. 20 pound, 24 pound non-watermarked, 100% cotton. I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing feel. So like, you know, if you want to send somebody a, uh, like some kind of invitation or a thank you letter. I don't know. I just bought them because I wanted to see if I can utilize them. The, the lighting is not good here. I got to move these over and move these over. So this one's 24 pound non-watermark. If you want to send somebody like an invitation, uh, resumes, thank you notes, cover letters, white wool, 24 pound. But this one's a hundred, this one's a hundred percent cotton. So, I mean, this is an amazing feel, you know, you can put important stuff on those. And this one's 32. Oof, this is really, really quality. 32 pound non-watermark, 100% cotton. You know, I'm going to, like, I'll write. You could sue people on these, too, you know. Uh, let me see, 24 pound. 20, if it's a lot of documents, I'll do 24 pound. But if it's just, like, a couple documents, like, you know, hey, pay up or... It depends. But it's categorized now, you know. So it's basically 20, you know, 20, 20, 24... Those are all watermarked, and then non-watermarked, 24 pound, 32 pound non-watermarked, and I don't think I have anything else, um, so that's it for the paper. That's all I need. I already went through a box of this, because I, every time I do a first, like a first draft of, of a document, and then I make corrections, plus all I did with the legal notice and demand, you know how many versions I have? I have about five versions. So, uh, you know, I, I'm going to also show you something now. Let me just pause this. Let me get the light on in here, and I'll show you, like, for example, see here, this is my legal notice in demand. Look at how many versions I have. I have one, two, every time I make a change, three, four, five, six, and I don't, I didn't dispose of them, kind of like for a record, you know, we can't even see this thing. So, I mean, did you see this? Did you see all these versions? This is just a legal notice in demand, right? So now, and then, and then I have my other documents. Let me just get this light here. One moment. You know, and then I got the versions. And the reason why I don't just toss them away right away is because I, uh, I mean, and I'm going to go over everything in here. You know, I mean, this is my little, like, little office here where I have everything, but I'm going to go through everything one by one. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but now it's the opportune time. So, because you want to go get these shredded. Once you have it mastered, like, it's all done, you have the final, 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 final version, then you can get rid of these. You know, then you can get rid of these. You could shred them. You know, I mean, you could get rid of them now. I'm just saying, I have to take a trip and go to, and get them shredded. Um, because this, I'm definitely not going to do it in this little, I bought a $45 shredder. That thing is whacking. I'm not about to buy a two, $300 shredder right now. So I just go, they have shredders at UPS store. So, so that's it. And, um, that's it. Let me pause this a sec. So that's where I got to where I was saying that I already went through a whole box of this 500 sheets, 500, 500 sheets. I went through 500 sheets between all my documents and, uh, you know, cause, because I had all those first and second drafts. Okay, so that's it for paper. Uh, while I'm on paper, I'm going to go on envelopes next. Okay, so actually it might be better. I just pause this. Okay, so I took snapshots of these um, uh, envelopes that I bought. But, you know, this is them here. This is the larger one and this is the smaller one that I got, you know. Right there. See, now the smaller ones, you see what's happening here? Like, just in case, you're not going to have that much, but who knows, maybe occasionally. But the thing is, is that the thicker it gets, these fit in. You know, these fit in. So these are fine. You know, obviously these are fine. But just in case, I just went ahead and bought a box of these larger ones. Because sometimes I put in envelopes, like return envelopes. They should fit in here, but just in case, I bought these. That's it. So these were the these were the ones, you know. These were the ones here. They're from this Universal. They sell staples and stuff. I just like this one the way it was. I think it's got a glue strip and it's got a glue strip and it's got this. What do these have? 
Same thing. Glue strip and it's got this thing. So, oh, oh yeah. Give me, let me pause this a sec. I want to show you some other envelopes. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, just some. That feels really nice. This one's 100% cotton. 100% cotton, 24 pound, white, white wove. And it's got a really nice feel, just in case you want to send somebody, like, you know, a thank you letter or you know, to sue somebody with style, you know. And then here, 24 pound, but this is only, tw oh, I know, I only got a little bit of these because these are for, like, really special occasions. But these are, they sold them, they, I guess they were cheaper because this one's a 50 count, 50 count. This one's a 250 count, so I think this was more economical. So these are what I'm going to use to basically do all my servings and stuff. See, I already started practicing. There's a gold marker. I'm going to do a whole chapter just on the markers because I like this. Look at this gold. I just did a test. And then, I, you know, to get a feel of the new products that you buy, you know, I always leave like one envelope on top of it. Usually I write it down, but I guess I didn't. I just kept it over here. I mean, these feel really nice. You know, somebody gets one of these, they're going to come to your party, you know? That's that, that's that. Okay, that's it. So I'll figure out what the next chapter is now. I'll stop. Look, again, I'm not saying to get this stuff or for anybody to get that. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. And then you say, oh, no, I don't, you, know, you only need a couple of these. But I plan on suing a lot of people. That's why I need a whole box. I wanted to, I wanted to know that I bought a whole box of envelopes. So I just, uh, you, you don't need to do this, but this is, this is what I'm doing. I'm sharing it with you. You do whatever you want. Okay. Now I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over like the pens that I, that, that I use. I, I use, the, I've been using this, this pen for about, they redesigned it like about 20 years ago. It's basically a, a big soft feel. Big soft feel. I wonder when, when this uh, gets recorded, does that come out backwards? Let me check. Nope, it's good. So it comes out, it comes out correct. So, uh, you know, this black, you know, the big soft feel. You know, big soft feel. So now, uh, they sell boxes of these, you know, black. And I believe they have boxes, I, I get them in blue, you know, blue as well. And then uh, I can't remember if they sell boxes of red or not. Yeah, of course they do. But then to get the purple, you know, you, I, I went through, I mean, just for me, I went through phases. You know, as I was watching like the videos from the Secure Party Creditor videos, you know, I, I went to the blue and then I went to the red and then I went to the purple as they were doing it. And then I went to the like, you know, I got silver too, but where's my gold marker? I have it over here. I'll bring it. Let me pause this for a second. I'm lowering that down. So it's Saturday morning. It's about like ten, uh, like almost 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And while I'm doing this video, my car, the lights have been turning on. And I I need a new car, basically. And I don't, I don't want to get stuck in the road. That's the only thing. I do have another little piece of shit car here that I could just throw the plates on, but I don't want to drive that anymore. I'm just going to give that to somebody else, a little Chevy. So I've been wanting to go down, and I went down to the dealership, to two dealerships, and then I put a $100 deposit on uh, a GMC Yukon, you know, brand new, like 70000 and the other, uh, a Chevy Tahoe, and I wanted to see if I can get one of them or, or two. So because I did my estate EIN number, my credit was gone, and I... I went into like a hermit mode for many years, so your, your credit goes away for all any kind of businesses that you had. So I had a couple of businesses, and the credit was is gone, you know, um, after a couple of years. I mean, like a long time. I just disconnected. I even took my mailbox down. I took my mailbox down for about three years. I had no mailbox. I didn't need it. When I needed to go pay the bills, I went to pay it. By the way, the electric bill, at least here on Long Island, they would not shut you down. They will not shut you down. I want to see how long, you know, they'll keep the lights on without me paying it. It's not even that much. It's not like a thousand dollars or so, but I, I, I want to pay them off for the, the year, like the year. And I want to, like, I want to use a lot of electricity. Uh, but, uh, anyway, so get back to the vehicle. So the guys called me, two of them from the both dealerships. We need, we need 500, you know, we need 500 for the, cause you only put a hundred down. We need 500. And then, um, 
So basically, I recorded, a, I, I took those three phone calls and I made a video. So Saturday morning, that's already uploaded. But you'll, this video that I'm making about the uh, office supplies, I'll probably do later today because I have to edit it, cut some stuff out and juggle it around. Wow, that looks awful. I have put bags over there. I could have got some shades, but because I, when I'm working and it's very sunny in the summertime, that looks really tacky. But anyway, I don't even care at this point. The sun beams right at my computers because my computers are in this room. I have four screens. And when I'm working, the sun glares right on my computer screen. So that's why I have garbage bags. I try putting drapes and stuff. The garbage bag works best. So I'm, I don't care. I just want to get this done. Anyway, so I recorded it and um, like a half hour ago. I mean, just now I finished, so it's about almost 11 o'clock in the morning, and let me find out what time that is. I don't even know if I can, I can't. Okay, now, uh, and so check it out. But this video, who knows, this could probably be done later on today, Saturday, it's like the 18th or something. Yeah, the 18th, or Sunday. All right, and then I'll see everybody in the, in the, in the meeting on Sunday night. So let me redo this now. Okay. So I went over these, these, I went over the black, I went over the blue, these said they sell in boxes. I'm not using blue anymore. Red, I use to, co to correct my documents. Like when I do a first draft and then I look through it, I have the, the old one here that I already made corrections on and then I have the new one here and I compare. That actually, I should go through that right now. Because that's actually important. And then I'll go through. I'll go through this. I'll pause. Okay. So now, you know, you're gonna go through these documents numerous, numerous times. Numerous times. So, let's just say that this was the old version and this was the new version. You see now, the new version doesn't have anything like any red markings. Whereas this one, you're like, you know what? Look, I wrote it, spread out, you know, make this one big or whatever. This is what, you know, this one I wanted to change over here, spread it out, whatever. Like, you know, to make it perfect, uh, add, put register, it's at a registrar, larger, bold, United States Court of International Trade. All this stuff I put in, like, like you know, I did a lot of work with these documents. Bold, you know, and then, and then you have your new document here. And you basically go flick, flick, you know, and you, and then this is the first draft. You put a staple in on a 45 degree angle. I do, I've done this for maybe 25 years. I have to have a staple in anything. This, I don't know how, it's just loose pieces, but uh, it's just like the cover sheet. But you, you, you put a, a staple and then, look. you know, this is the first draft. Then if you want, you can put a paper clip. But, but, you know, like, I, I'm going to put staples. What are they going to say? No, no, you stapled it. Now there's a hole there. All your documents are disqualified. They're not going to say that. But the final draft, you don't want, I'm, I'm thinking of even getting a rivet gun. You know the rivet guns? Or, or they actually have something called a, like a leather paper clip. And they just go, it's like I saw it on a, on a CIA secret document on a movie. They have like a leather paper clip right here, which I thought was really, really nice. So anyway, that's why I went there. So you make it, you, then you go over here and then you're like, all right, is it good enough? No, make more changes. That's when you use your red or whatever. You could use blue or black or whatever, but the red pops right out. Done. Let me move these over just the way they were. So you got your black, you got your blue. So black would be basically, black would be better. Blue and red, it's a debate between whether you're creditor. Yeah, these are both for creditors, but I don't know, you know, like the, the, the difference, but this would, this is kind of like the, the sequence that they did in the videos. Blue is like the creditor or private you know, the creditor or private, and red is also the same. So you could say this one is for from, from debtor to, to to creditor, and then from creditor to private, and then basically 
then it's this purple, you know, for uh, royalty, and then and then it's and then it's basically gold for for a king. You know, this would be like you know you are noble, like you're a nobleman. You know, you sign with purple. You know, like you're in, inside of your your a, 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 a count or what do they call those? Yeah, count or a countess. And then, and then if you're if you're the king, you know, master and commander, then you go with gold. So, and then the the, the, the purple one, they only sell; they do not sell it loose. So you have to buy this to get one purple pen. You got to buy the whole thing, just or two, maybe two. And then it has all these other colors. So this blue is like an aqua; it's not that blue. So you have to just make your own judgment. I can't even remember what was in here, but you know, there's a couple of color, colors in here. But the purple, you have to buy this whole box. So I bought two of these just to get two purple pens. And I, and I try not to lose them because I use purple a lot for a while. So basically what I did was when I was watching the videos, I would go from black to blue. And then blue I used for everything, for my business, for everything. And then so when, you know, I, and then I kind of I let it grow on me. And then I went to red. You know, and I let that grow on me. I was writing everything in red. Then I went to purple. When I went to purple, I, I was writing everything. Every I would have a purple pen on me all the time. So right now, I gave up on those. But I always have a purple pen around me. And I'm writing in black again. So, so I went through the whole cycle. Now, for gold. This is a gold marker. Right? This is a gold Sharpie fine point. Let me see here. Permanent marker. I can't even see what that says. Spare tip down. Store tip down, like this. But it doesn't say metallic. Gold metallic Sharpie. Yeah, gold metallic Sharpie. So now this here, it writes really, really thick. So I'm going to show you a trick. <clears throat> this is it. Let me see. So, see, this is it, but not when you buy it. What I did was I, I popped this cushion, off, this uh, the tip, out, and I, I filed it down with a razor. You could do it while it's in there, but it's going to come out anyway. So get a pair of surgical gloves, take this tip out, and shave it down if you want. Otherwise, it's going to look like a bait, like a, like you're a kid marking, like making a move. You know, it's going to look like this. Yeah, exactly. All right, that wasn't too bad. Damn, that wasn't too bad. But my, the, other, the gold one was, oh, maybe because this is fine. But then you also, you know, so that's the gold marker to do basically this. I have this document, like, you know, you've seen, I'm sure you've seen it. It's in one of my videos, but just in case, it's, it's, it's a signature practice. You know, this is your seal. You know, I'm still debating if I'm going to even put my 98 number there or not. And by the way, I've, I've, uh, I've, 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 insp uh, I've investigated um, getting the... Uh, the bounty hunter's license, so it's it's definitely doable. It's definitely doable. So this is the one I finally went with, and this one is a sharpie metallic gold extra fine point. Sharpie metallic gold. extra fine point and this is what it looks like really nice I guess the lighting here is not like I can't, oh it's folded that's it okay now let me see what else while I have this here so you know regarding pens and markers I mean you know I got a silver one because it probably came in the box but I, you know you know, you're going to hold them in something. Oh, let me show you this last thing. Because I've been done. I was, uh, I went to school for architecture. So I have a, I don't have a degree in it. But I did get really close, you know, to getting a, a you know, a degree. But architects always use um, mechanical pencils. So 
for sketching, you know, for like make, because this, oftentimes I have to cut things and then I just do a, a, a little line with a ruler, but I'm going to show you, I have that exacto thing, that heavy duty paper shredder over there, you know, that thing, I'm going to show you, well, let me just show you now. So this is uh, an exacto heavy duty paper trimmer. You know, I, I'm just saying, I'm just showing you. I, I've been dying to have one of these for maybe about two, three years. And, and because I do a lot of crafty stuff, I'm always doing stuff like this. You know, you gotta cut a post-it, you gotta cut a stamp, you gotta, like, you gotta do stuff. Or, or even for the, the rolls of the, like, the registered mail, whatever. And then this right here, you know, you, it's like a little grid pattern here. And then when you want to cut it, you put like a ruler over it to cut it good. I just, why did I bring that up? That's why I like the mechanical pencil. You know, the mechanical pencil, and because I, 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 I sketch a, a very small line if I want to, if I want to write straight. That's what it is. I put a little line if, if I want to like sign or make something, do some writing. I, I put these little grid lines there. Very, very, very faint. You just go, you just go with a ruler. And then you just, that's where you're going to be writing. Otherwise, it goes very, very sloppy. Just ideas. That's it. Okay. I'm done with the pens. So now for pens, I found these. I love them. Ooh. I haven't even taken this thing off. So it's actually, uh, they sell, they, I got them at Staples. I have two where, you know, I have two of my workstations. That's it uh, for that. So let me pause and let me think where I'm going. I have a notepad with some notes. All right, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go like a speed round in, in here. So I was right. Of course, the black, the red, they do sell in full boxes, you know, so you'll have them for forever. Or like me, I lose them. Once I'm on a red mode, I, I like have these red pens everywhere. Blue they have. I bought these, didn't like them. I'll leave those there. Okay, post-its. I get the super sticky ones, small ones. And then, uh, actually I'm gonna show you a trick. So these, I have both of these. What I do is because, uh, I'm not gonna open this because they're, they're kind of packaged in there. Give me one second. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little trick. Here is, uh, for example, when you have this thing and it's full, Right, I'll take one out. When it's full, like I, I don't like it when it's when it's like huge because I can't write. And then when it gets over here, it's like either on or off. And for some reason, I don't like it when it's full. Even with this one, same thing. When it's full, I don't feel comfortable because uh, I like it pretty, pretty close. So what I do, I'm writing notes up on everything. What you do is you take off a piece, right? But then it's sticky, so like, see this I can write comfortably. You know, if, I'm, if I wake up and I'm doing a project, I take a fresh one of these and I start writing whatever I want to do that day. I always do it. I do it every day. I did it today. You know, I need, the video is on it. So like, what I, whatever, and I do this like four in the morning. It's almost like a vision board, kind of like a, um, you know, like a vision board. And then, so then that's it. You basically, yeah, I'll show you. I, I do them about this thick, you know. And then when it gets too low, then I'll finish it, but because it stays flush. You basically take this and you put a piece of tape on it and then you just trim it like this. You take this, now this is sticky. You can't float this around and bung, you know, like throw it around wherever you're working because it'll stick. So you just do this. You can even leave a little bit so it sticks a little bit on, 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 on the thing. Otherwise, you do that. I'm you know, I'm talking about like a lot. You'll do like 20 of them or something. And that tape is super sticky. I, I, they, they came out with a super sticky tape. Done. With, done with these. Done with these. Move these over. Next. And hey, look at these cute mugs. I was drinking soup in these and like teas I, I, when I was in my phase. Now I don't use it. Now all I have is, is pretty much broth. But when the winter time comes around, 
I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with the, with the teas again. All right, now, next is, there's five different kind of, there's five different kind of binder clips. Let me see if I have them all here. And one of them is the super micros, small, medium, minis, and then micros, because you may need them. I need, I use them all. So the micros come like this. They're very small. Here, yeah, let me put a couple in that. One. Oh, it's a full box. I don't want to open a new box. I'm going to pause this and go bring them out so you can see the difference. Okay. So I took a snapshot as well. Here, this is the micro, mini, small, medium, extra uh, large. Medium, and this is the... Large. That's the exact terminology. Micro, mini, small, medium, large. I like having everything. I, I really wanted the ones with the rubber grip, but you could see here. Let me see. Let me just take this off. You see? That's it. Basically, binder clips. Done. I'll pause this. And then I'll get the next item. Okay, so, um, I mean, uh, you know, I bought these to try and test them. Because you have to buy it to test it out. I couldn't, I thought I liked them, but I didn't like them. You could use these paper clips, you know, like, uh, you could use paper clips. I just do not like paper clips. That's why I bought all the binder clips. So I'm not saying buy these. And this is just what I'm doing. I, I don't, I just needed staples. Sometimes I need them for certain things. So I didn't want to buy one. They, I don't even think they sold them in one box. So I had to buy the whole the whole case, and I don't even use them. I don't. Even, I don't like using them. I don't like using them. I use them unless it's, if it's something quick. Done. What did I want to show up? Oh, okay. Yeah. So now, I mean, just for the rough drafts, you know, if you want, you could do some little whiteout. You know, like I, I, I don't really. I'm not a fan of this, but you know. This is a whiteout thing. I use this for my business all the time. This is good. You just have to get the hang of it. You know? Just not on the finished document. You know, not on the finished document, but... So, that's it. I'm not going to say you need rubber bands because I don't use them for that. So, uh, you know, I, I get the best premium staples and everything. See, remember what I told you about this? I, I got this super old tape. It's really strong. So it'll tear, it'll tear paper. So, but I like it. I still like it. So this is a box of that. I showed you, and that's it. When when you when you get these people to sign, you know, like when every anything that's important on the document, anything that's important on the document, I'll leave it. You know, like uh, if there's anywhere you want, like maybe to the uh, billing area. You know, you want to have it. Uh, these I found were good. Otherwise, you're going to have to get folder tabs here. But these are good just for the signing. You know, like the signing area, the lean area, whatever. Whatever you want. Because otherwise, you're going to be fumbling, fumbling. When, you're at, when you have four, when you do your documents, you're going to have like four copies at the uh, UPS store. That's what I use with, this, with the witnesses. Um, unless somebody has a notary. I'm going to become a notary. I, I, you know, I know that. Uh, but not right now. So uh, it's it's really convenient. You can go right down to the UPS store and you call them first and you ask them when do you have two additional employees there? And then that's and then you're like, oh yeah, after two o'clock on Thursday, you got it. I'll be there. And then you go early. See if it's not busy. Then you know you lay out everything. Uh, and then you, I always tip them. If it's if I'm doing a lot of documents, I tip them a lot. Like I tip them uh, twenty bucks for the witnesses. But if, when I had a, a, and I gave fifty bucks to the notary. So, uh, but if I come in with my whole load, no way. I'm gonna have to give the the witnesses fifty and then give him a hundred. But I can't. It's like so much work and so much pressure, like to do it right. So, anyway, so you want to have these. These were okay too. They were a little thicker. I haven't decided because I, I, you know, I haven't done all my documents fully. 
that's it. I'm going to pause this, see what's next. Okay? So now I'm going to go over, like, you know, these document holders and stuff. You know, this one, I like, though. I love everything about it, but it would, it, 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 they didn't make it wide enough to, like, fit really big. Let's see. I don't know. I used it, and, and okay, that's pretty good. There was something that I didn't like about it. Oh, I already know. I put my, when I went to the post office, I used this, I believe, but, but, but I needed to have my, I didn't want to keep my roll of registered mail numbers in my bag to get dirty, so I put it here. It's got even, it's even got the indentation here. So what I, see, see how it's all weird, it's all warm? So, so this is great. This is great when you're going into court, maybe, you know, when you're going into court. I've seen lawyers use these, look. It looks nice. Buy a brand new one. Don't let it get dirty. Look, you saw how many documents that just held? Legal? But it's not going to hold the envelope. See? The, uh, the, the envelopes you'll have to fold. So that means... that I don't know. So anyway, that's that. Let's see about the other ones. I bought these to, to try and find what I'm going to use at my vehicle, and they suck, basically. Because if you if you pack something in here, it doesn't fit. See? And then, and then, here. It doesn't even fit illegal. Like, it, it'll fit it, but, like, like, barely. That's actually pretty good. But this thing would pop. You see? You just, all, you, all you do is squeeze it, and it pops. So I didn't like that. But this is actually pretty, you know, pretty good. But anyway, so this one's the same thing. It's just a different brand. It's the same brand, but it's got a different label. One of them's staples, one of them's tops. You know, if you want, you could use these. These are good. Like, for the legal notice and demand, I used this for a really long time, but I had the legal notice and demand here, like, folded. It was because I liked it. You know, I liked it, and I got attached to it because it's small. Now I grab because it's got a couple pockets here. You can put stuff in here. Is this recording? Yes. Look at this is also a nice one. I've always seen those legal people. I was trying to master that, like, because you see them do it so, like, but it's not actually easy. So, like, you got to figure out. <laughs> That's it. See? You see, I mastered it because I, I did it, like, repetitive, like, 30 times until it, it, it was elegant because I don't want to go in and blah, 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 blah. See? See? Look. You got to have your hand a certain way. Yeah, and then... You know, uh, hey, hey, Karen, bring me the folder. Okay, sure, boss. And then you bring it and then just do the, bloop, bloop. you know, like well, all the times you've seen lawyers and stuff. So these are nice. I bought a box of these. Let's see how these work. Good. Look at that. That's nice. So if you have like a small project, this. If you need a bigger project, if you're going in for the, for the kill, you use that, you know? <laughs> If you're going in for the kill, you use that. If you're going in just to, you know, these people that are bothering you, you just use this. You use both. Next. This is the baby right here. This is like 35 bucks. You, you got, I got it at Staples. It's Toscano. Right here. And it's made for a laptop. It's made for a laptop, but I like it because, it, you know, it's, it basically doesn't fail. This, my... my Legal notice and demand, I made a video just for this. My legal notice and demand lives on my... I just took this out, so as soon as I pause this, I'm going to put this right back on my... Uh, right back on my dashboard. So, so see, legal notice and demand, because, you know, we have rain, we have sun. This this will be protected. Now, it's like double protected. In, inside the envelope, now I got the printer. So now I'm going to be able to scan this document, shrink it, make it part of my document. See, because it's too big. So now I'm going to shrink that to size, and then, look, it even says it right here. Page 22. I take out this part that says page of 30, because you're going to keep adding stuff. Keep adding stuff to the back of this. And then I may even do one number system for the entire package and make it like a book. You know, make it like a book. And then, so it's like, oh, no, it's on, but that's on page 67. You know what I mean? And, but it's possible. I'm not sure yet. So, this is going back to my car. I have to do it right now. So, I get a pause. This part right here is juicy. This is like 45 bucks. 
right? What is this? What am I going to use this for? You would not believe. I'm going to go to a printer and I'm going to get my, my uh, billing costs. I guess I need one of those tabs here. My billing costs when I'm when I'm traveling. See, when I'm traveling and migrating, traveling and migrating, that this, all these items are gonna be over here on this side. I'm gonna get them printed from a printer, and it's gonna have all the items, small print, it's gonna fit in here. I'm gonna get them custom printed. Everybody can have this, right? This is coming out. Let me take it out now. I don't need, oh, there was one, these two I needed. So let me do this. This maybe two. And I could put some stuff in here. So this is going to be here. And then you're basically going to be like, well, I'm going to have to write you up. You know, I'm going to have to write you up. Uh, so don't move. And keep your hands where I can see them. Don't make any sudden movements. Uh, I'm going to have to write you out. Of, I'm going to have to write you out of violation. All right. Um, can I see some ID, please? Yeah, and hold it there because, you know, uh, I'm an old man. I need a rocking chair, so I, I give me a couple minutes to, to, to read it. Very good, okay? Because they'll just flash it to you like that. And, okay, what agency are you with? Suffolk County Police Department. Okay, Suffolk County Police Department. And then, you, and then you're like, okay, you could, you could have a seat in your vehicle. Uh, I'll, I'll be a couple minutes. You can be as long as you want. Item number one, 17 counts, five counts, four counts. You know what I mean? And then uh, over here, you're going to have your badges. You're going to have your bounty hunter badge here, your firearms. You could fit, you could maybe fit three, because I'm going to have, on this side here, I'm going to have my, my bounty hunter badge. I'm going to have my firearms badge, and then I'm going to have my, my, <laughs> my vampire hunter. You can make it anything you want because I, I, I'm going to become an agency that I can, I can basically, you make your own badges, you know, so you got your bounty hunter here, you got your firearms here, and then you have your, you could have the second one as like a private investigator or, or peace officer, private investigator or peace officer here. And so you have all three of them there and then you show it to them, you know, you're like, you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to write you out a series of violations. You can keep it, you can even keep it like this. You know, I'm going to have to write you out a series of violations. So, uh, okay, I got your name here. So, you know, have a seat. I'll be in touch. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know when I'm done. You can be as long as you want. You can be an hour. If he, if he flees, he's fleeing the scene of a commercial transaction in progress. I mean, that's kind of a joke, but, you know, anyway, that's it. So, that chapter is done. Folders. So let me pause. Let's see what else we got. I'll keep this right there. I'll pause. Okay. All right. Let me just uh, let me just go over something quick here. When you, uh, I mean, you know, you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying. If you're going to staple a lot of documents, you can staple them the way you want, but what you can do is, if you have this stapler, right, you got to find like a book that's the level with that area, with level with the plant and plant, because otherwise, if you do this, they're going to come all crooked. So you're going to do this, I mean, this is just a little, like a little trick of the trade. You make sure you get a flat, flat, flat surface. Right? Then you hold it, then you grab it over here without making any movements, and then you get it in there. I mean, I do 45 degree angle. So you can make it straight. I've been doing 45 degree angle for my entire, like for 25 years. See? Perfect. When it makes that little, that little kink, 
That is perfect. And then, you know, you get a, a remover. If you ever have to remove this, um, you, you, if it's thick, you got to go over here and take these off first. Because if you do it over here, it tears everything up. Like, you know, you, you take the... It already has some staples on it. You basically do this, and then you go, you take them off just like this. Boom. And then, otherwise you'll tear everything up. See, perfect. So you can put the staple back on. All right, so that's that. Now, fingerprint pads. I mean, I got them from this company. They have their own website and everything. The only thing is you have to buy, I mean, this is blue because I didn't know what I'm going to need. And I wanted to have, if I'm going to be doing fingerprints, I want to have every color. Black, I'm not going to need for anything, but, you know, you got your black and your blue, but the main one is the red. And they come two in a pack. So when you buy them, this is the name of the company. Make your ID, hit <laughs> H-I-T-T. This you have to order. Right from their website. I even gave them my UPS number and they they, they they build my UPS account. I have a UPS account. You know, they, you put your, your credit card on file there. And then uh, you want to keep, since they come in packs of two, you want to keep, you know, one set in the house. And then one set you want to keep, I'm going to get, I don't have it here, but I'm going to get, if anybody's ever seen a, 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 a screw holder, hardware holder, that they sell like for, for contractors and stuff, I'm gonna have one of those and the one that you get is the one that you could adjust all the, sh all the boxes, right? And then, and then you put your documents in there, you have your registered mail number, your, regist your roll of registered mail, your pens, your everything, when you go to, to, po to, to the post office. That's what I'm gonna do and it's a great idea. So I'm gonna go shopping for that soon. At either Lowe's or Home Depot. It's big. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be like a suitcase because you could fit in all, you know, all your documents. You can make a custom, you know, a custom area, and then all the other areas you make the uh, the like there's, there's little partitions, and then you make the partitions whatever you want. You can make them any way you want. So let me see how that works. I'll let you guys know. I'll have to update you on that. So we 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 went over these. So you want to have. Inside of there, you're gonna have your fingerprinting. You know, you're gonna have a rag or like some uh, wet towels, you know, baby wipes or something. So that's that. Fingerprint pads. I love these notepads. Look, I even made a test here with these things. So they were, let me see what's in, okay. You know, so. These are docket gold. They're on bond paper. It feels really quality. So they're docket gold. And I bought them. I think I got them from, you know, what is that called? Office Max or sometimes it's called Office Max. Sometimes it's called Office Supply or something. But it's like Office Max. So docket gold. They're the same company. Like I think uh, this tops. Is that tops? I can't remember if it's tops or not, but they're, they're on bond paper. They're not watermarked, but they're on bond paper, so it's a quality paper. And look at how many of them I have. I have one for each different project. Like I, this one is for all for post offices. This was like one project because I don't want to mix and match them because you could never find the information. So I got one just for like post offices. Like a, this post office project when I was figuring out what my mailing address was going to be international or the people I spoke to and I just never used it again because I want to keep that just like that. This and then I usually date it. You see, whenever you're working on one project that, that the post-its are not enough, you know, you're working on a project, this post is not enough, then you got to skip to this. I don't, I don't want to have two types of notepads around. You could get the 5x8s that we have in here, you know. If you want, if you feel more comfortable, but this is five by eight. They sell docket gold in that too. I like I like designer stuff in my life. I like designer like uh, office supplies. So this is expensive. It's not cheap. It's it's, it's uh, on bond paper. All right. So yeah, I date whenever I'm on one project. Look, look. This is my my verbiage when I when I got this information. When I, I probably I got it like five o'clock in the morning. 
all my uh, my verbiage for the legal notice in demand. Heirlooms, unlawful detainment, doc living, breathing, free man. Look, restricting access of native indigenous lands. I'm already working on my own license plate. I, these are just ideas, you know? I'm going to make a license plate, go down to the sign company and make a license plate for myself. This one is, I think I went over this. Yeah, this one's the post office. You know, anyway. And then you use one for different projects. You see, you're going to get to a point where you're going to have to do this. If You know, like you're going to have to, your document numbers, you want to, if you're going to do what I'm doing, if you're going to assign a registered mail number to a document to finish your pr private security agreement, I'll show you right now. Let me pause. So to, to this is the private security agreement. So to do your private security agreement, when you go to Schedule A, when you're gonna list all your all your um, property here, right? You're gonna list all your documents. You're gonna list all your documents and their ID numbers. You know your first and last name, uh, J L H H A. HHIA. That's the Hold Harmless Indemnity Agreement. You're gonna list them all there. This is even. This is not even my final draft. My final draft is like, but look, I got all my birth certificate numbers here, six birth certificates. Each one has a different uh, number, like a uh, serial number, like a, like a Q-SIP. And then mine, the one that I have on my computer, I just never printed it out. It's huge. It fills up two pages. Everything, every company, every everything you're going to put in there if you have the time. Otherwise, just do the basics. Just do the, you know, just do from here up, the birth certificate, whatever. So I just wanted to say that. That's why you need, if you are gonna do it the right, like or the full, the full force way, you're gonna have one notepad where you're gonna have all these numbers for every one of your documents. So you have kind of like a record. Look what this is called. This is probably called my mail USPS mailing logbook. You name it whatever you want. From the from the first registered mail number, you wanna have like, I'm gonna have my secretary do this. She's gonna have it on like a spreadsheet, she's very good. And, and she's already, if I get a roll of registered mail numbers, she's going to have the whole roll already in there. She all numbered everything, w you know, without even me opening it. She, I mean, we may have to open it just to see the sequence because they start skipping numbers, but it's a formula. I, I don't even think they follow the formula. So you're going to, it's going to kind of like a logbook. That's it. Now I wanted to show you about that marker that I was saying. That it, look at how the uh, stamp the seal, your personal uh, seal, looks with that thin num with that thin gold marker. I like it. You see, I like it better. The only thing you got to watch out is when you have a real stamp here. When you're signing, it, it hits, and then you could mess it up on the real document. So, so you just have to be careful when because you're gonna hit the stamp, and then you're gonna like you're gonna like go crooked. So, uh, how come the light is not? Practice, you know, signature practice. I'm not gonna about to sign a document because I I need to get into the groove. I start going, oh, uh, you know what I mean? When I, when I'm ready, it's like a ritual. It's like a ritual when I'm signing a document. I get pumped. Okay, done. Let me see what's next. Pause. Okay, next chapter. Uh, I mean, these are certain you. I, I'm gonna, you know, you're gonna use certified mail, you know, as well. So. I mean, me, I'm very meticulous, so I w these certified mail receipts are in numbered order. When they, when they send them to me, I go through them and I make sure they're all in numbered order. Because if I'm going to work on a big project where I'm going to do certified mail for 10, 15 people, all my numbers are going to be all in sequence. Am I getting bit by a mosquito over here? Because I'm like itching. Uh, okay, and then Ziploc bags. They'll be inside of that little that little hardware holder, you know. Get the air out, so they'll lay flat. Same thing. Look, this entire thing is these green cards. These uh, are in numbered sequence. So even the green cards, I'm gonna do all in sequence. You know. I. It existed, so I, I got it. I ordered it. I was on USPS.com, and yeah, I'll put a couple of these on, on, on uh, you know, there's no numbers on here, but you'll put, I'll put a couple, of, and look what I did. You see this? I took a post-it, 
cut it with a scissor, I'll do one right now. Otherwise, this is going to be all over the place. Look, look, it holds because it's super sticky. Remember I showed you? It's super sticky, right? So you do this. Or you use that machine. All right. And then you fold the little tab. You fold the little tab like that. And then you take this off. It doesn't damage. You put a new one on. Boom, boom, boom. And then it'll never stick. So whenever you need one, you just do this and then you take it off. See? Little trick. Same thing with this. I can get these, you know, if, you, if somebody's having trouble, let me know. I'll get you, I'll get you a roll because uh, I know the woman. She's right. All right. So uh, the video got cut off. So I'm just going to show you. I, I got this. I know it sounds this looks really weird, but there's a reason for it. I'm going to show you. I like these lamps because, you know, there's, so, there's not enough room on the tables. So I'm going to show you how this lamp works. But just see, this is when I, I cover it. Right, because let's see, look, let me show you. Because I work sometimes. It's got one, two, three, three phases, right? And um, I have four of them. I bought four of them, but there's a couple of problems with it. But I'm gonna tell you, you know, they're expensive. They're like thirty bucks, but I just like them because I don't have no room by my computer. So I have two of them by my computer. I got my Himalayan sea salt lamp, right? And, and then I got one on another table and one in the table, my review table, where I review the documents and stuff. And I don't want to move them around. They, they will fall over easy. They will fall over and you get annoyed. So I bought locks expensive. Like, I, I'm, I'm really retarded. But I, I like things the way I want them. I could not find, I went shopping for light. I could not find anything better. So I put a weight here. You can use a sandbag. You can use like a little... Uh, fill up a Ziploc bag with some something heavy, find something else, tape it around it. But why I do this is because I, I, I work, sometimes I wake up 4 o'clock in the morning and I, I just start working and I cannot stand a lot of light. I can stay in the sun and bathe in the sun, you see I'm colored. Uh, I, I can stay in the sun for a long time and I, I, you know, I have no problem, but when I'm working, I have my computer monitors on zero. And, and uh, they don't get any darker, basically, and when I'm working on, on four screens. I got three screens here, and one is my note, my note, my laptop, which is down below. And, um, you know, plus with, like, videos and stuff, I, when this here is, this is actually dim because it's, 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 uh, it's not been charged really well. But let's see. One, two, one, two. Three. The third one is basically just two. One is fluorescent, one is LED, and then when it's three, so I basically when at nighttime, I have it on the, I have it on the first setting, and then I have two kinds of socks. I put a, a sock over it, and then and then I can. Um, And then you could, if you want a little bit more, you can stretch it, you know what I mean? Stretch it. If, if it's still too much light, you can use a black sock. I, I have one over there. And they're new, you know, they're not used socks. Look, see this? It's, I, I got a gray sock on there. I'm putting this back. Okay, so I went over that. All right, let me see what's next. I'm putting this back. Let me pause. All right, I can't think of anything else. I'm going to check again, and if not, I'm going to end this video. But, oh, I mean, this is what these colored ones come inside this thing. If you're going to use these instead of binders. But they are actually pretty nice because you can pick a color, whatever energy you feel that, that day or for that particular document. And they have a rubber, like some like a rubber, they're dipped in rubber, so they grip. They grip better than the other uh, than the other staples that have those little slits in them. You know, those little cuts. So these, you know, these rubber ones. And then this thing is nice because they never fall out. You know, that's it. 
I'm gonna just stop and I'll see. If not, then uh, this ends the video. I'll see if I can comment over this because I found a video uh, editor on my thing because I, I don't want to go and get it in Adobe. They want like tw they want $9.99 for an Adobe a month, but you have to pay the whole year and stuff. So, I don't know. Right this moment. So that's it. Okay. I'm going to show you something here. Um, see, I. To how to load paper inside inside of a printer for the watermark to show proper now I'll just tell you that I have to move the camera to to, 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 to show you but I'm gonna you're gonna have to trust me the watermark is right here and it says Southworth right I know how to do this I really don't want to move this, but I'll do it. You see? Right there, the Southworth is backwards on this one. The first try I did. So if you don't mind it backwards, then leave it. Otherwise, if you want it the correct way, you got your box right here, right? Just the way the box is, don't change the orientation, so you always have it the same way. They're all, they're always the same sequel. You could check just to make sure, but I've already done it because it comes out of a roll. So, you check the way it is. Now, if you notice the way it is, the Southworth is like this. You see? It says Southworth. So now, if you go back here, if I put it in here these things come out in reverse always so if it's like this you know with the southward here when it comes out right you're gonna take it and then it's gonna be backwards see the southward is backwards I can tell you it's the Southworth is backwards. Just you're gonna have to trust me on that. So what you're gonna have to do is when you take these out, I don't want to mix this up, so I'm gonna get fresh ones. So when it's like this, I'll go back here. When it's like when it's like this, and then it comes out. You basically have to rotate it. Southworth, yep. See, if it comes out like this, and then never mix up, mix it up. So what you got to do is you're gonna take a bundle. I'm already confident about it because I've already, I've already thought it through. So I'm gonna fill this up. I'm gonna do one test. I'm gonna do one test. So the Southworth reads left to right. Southworth reads left to right. I am going to take it just the way it is, flip it. Okay. Oh, it's already printing. I guess I must have had something in the, in the pipeline. Okay, so we'll just do one. Yep, there it is right there. South worth. Okay, there's more coming out. I just want to make sure you could see it. Well, you're gonna have to trust me. Right there, South worth. You don't want to have it in reverse. That's it. That's just my preference. That's it. And then since it has two trays, you do you know, uh, letter up at the top. And then you do legal down at the bottom. And then, of course, you you test both of them. So, you see, the south word is correct. On the letter size. Come on. And the south word is correct. Where's the light?
Where's the light? It's blocking it that much? Because I thought I could see the light through it, but no. So there's a Southworth right there. All right, that's it. Okay, I, I just recorded this video, but it didn't come out good, this portion of it. Uh, this is the next day, and I just bought this thing here at Home Depot. It's a Husky organizer. It's pretty much my toolkit for a registered mail. So I'm just gonna, you know, share what I have in here. It's, uh, I'll just show you, well, let's see how it works. It's got this here, like, like that. It's pretty nice. Inside the top here, you know, it's got like some legs over here on the back. And over here, this is push away. So you, okay, now, no. I'm gonna show it like this. Okay. It fits perfect, it closes, look. And the good thing about this one, I didn't even like it at the beginning, but the good thing about this one is if you use it like a suitcase, everything is going to get shifted. Whereas this one's like, this, it's going to look kind of weird going into offices and, and, and maybe even court with this thing. Well, you know what? I'm weird, so uh, I'm going to do this. This is mine. This is my toolkit. I, 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 uh, I threw away the wrapper, so I don't, I'm not returning it. Okay. So... See some stuff in here. Uh, stapler, staple remover, a pair of scissors. It kind of fit a little tight, right? Then over here I got micro, micro um, uh, binder, binder uh, clips, uh, minis, small, medium, and large, right? Small, medium. Let me let me do these. Right in the center console, you have to kind of move these bins around and stuff, you know. Take some of them out that you don't need. I got large post-its, medium post-its. I got these little uh, flag flags, like those little signing flags. Languettes, I guess in French. I got my, just in case I need certified mail numbers, these certified mail number receipts are in, number, in numerical sequence. Green cards, these green cards are in numerical sequence. I got my fingerprint pads here. You know, not that I'm going to need all three of them, but you know, all you need is the red. And you know, like an envelope opener just in case. This is like a glue thing to glue uh, things on the top of the envelope, like the page for the registered mail. You know, you're not going to use white out on your documents, but just in case, white out. Uh, this is a nice black marker. It's dual sided. You see, it's a just in case, you know. But otherwise, a little, like a razor here. You got your black big pens like I showed you before. You got your blue. You got your red. And then, uh, this is that good green, that good gold marker. I'll show you an example. Right here. It's really nice, like a fine point gold pen. And then this one here that I filed down. You know, I filed this down. You could use this like a marker too. Next is, you know, a couple of rubber bands here. And these um, assorted paper clips come with the dispenser. You know, come with this dispenser when you buy it. And But they're pretty nice because they have, they're rubber. They have rubber on them. So, you know, just a couple. I got all the binder clips, but just in case I'm doing something that I want to use. I wanted to just fill it up, you know? Then, that's that. In here, full roll of registered mail numbers, right? Let me move these over. I just got these because, you know, from USPS, maybe you could throw a couple on, 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 on the envelope, like, you know, designer or something, if you chose to. Since I ordered them, they came, I have them, so I'm not going to toss them in the garbage. And this I want you to see, because look at how much stuff, look. That's about three quarters of an inch right there. This one right here is just about three quarters of an inch. It's just, this is just my uh, first draft, like I showed you earlier. Look at this one. This is, all, this is an inch. This is an inch. And then, look. It fits the medium, the smaller envelopes, but not the large one. And look, notepad, notepad, note, it's about three inches high. Notepad, notepad, notepad. Here's signature practice for your seal. 
with that gold. You can't barely even see that gold. Oh, you can see it, the 98. I didn't sign it anymore. Oh, I did sign it. You gotta look close. Where is the camera? Yeah. You have to look close and you see that I've, I've signed there. You can barely see it. You know, this is like a fingerprint um, practice, you know, just a, and inside here, this is my USPS folder. I got stamps. See, stamps right here. Now, these I've already pre-designated for my documents. So I basically took out about 20 of them and, and designated them for my documents. So I keep them here. I don't keep them on a roll. And then I'll just cut them, paste them, you know, uh, glue them right on. You know, some two cent stamps here. And then all the filing stuff from the, uh, you know, from the USPS. And that's it. The only other things I'm missing is just to get is... Uh, like a, a, a small roll of tape, you know, with a dispenser. Uh, purple pen. I only have one purple pen here. But I'm going to take two, but I don't even think I'm going to use purple. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm, I haven't decided yet. And then sometimes you're going to be in these offices, you know, or the post office for a, for a long time. So, you know, maybe some mints. I'm going to get a, a, a thing of Altoids. And that's it. That's it. This is my little, my new little, uh, you know, tool bag. You know, for registered mail, you know, for all my registered mailings, mailing stuff to the treasury, mailing stuff to all the agencies and stuff. Because when you go there, let me see what else I can actually say is what I'm going to do. That that phone that I'm recording this video on is on a nice tripod. I, I, it's over $100, maybe $150. It, you crank it like this, it goes up and down. So I, um, I've already worked, I've already went into precincts, you know, police precincts with the tripod, recording them. You know, four years ago I did that, and um, I have it all. I'll release that someday, but I wasn't as knowledgeable as I am now. What else? Um, and then I might even walk in with, uh, they sell this, is it four foot? Yeah, it's a four foot, kind of like a, a, a utility table with drop down feet, and then it goes up and down. So I might walk in with that. I don't know, maybe even get like a truck, or like a hand truck or something. Uh, otherwise, I mean, for documents, I have a lot of documents. I'm going to get those lawyers' case things, you know, like uh, where you have all your files there. Um, and you walk it in almost like a carry-on, like a, not a carry-on, like a, uh, you know, like luggage. And, but I'm going to work it all out. But the, the table, if there's no room at that office that you're going to, you need a table. You need a table. You lay this right out. You start doing all your documents and stuff. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to videotape it, too. Uh, I, I'll make it public. I don't care. That's it. We already went over all that stuff. I'm going to merge all these videos together, the ones from yesterday and, and today, and then, uh, and then publish it tomorrow as a premiere. All right, I'm going to end this video now. Be good all.